on to you Libras out here. So you Libras have the Knight of uh, Cups, the Knight of Wands, and you have the Five of Swords. So that's interesting. It's interesting because I'm seeing that uh, somebody um, is trying to link up with you romantically, but we got to talk about that more, right? We got to talk more about that because the Knight of Cups and the Knight, the the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands speaks to you Libras being out from your old situations. Y'all are done with that, right? A lot of you Libras are like, nah, you finished. Whatever uh, potential romantic interest or romantic interest was in the past that you left behind, you show enough left that behind. You don't want anything to do with that at all. But the Knight of Swords speaks to how this person is like, no, well, I want to come along with you, right? This, this brand new person is like, well, I'll hang out with you. I'll come along, you know, I'll kick it with you, right? I, you know, Soon afterwards, soon after you stop talking to, to somebody, boom, you essentially may have found somebody else is the point that I'm trying to make. And then the four of wands and the three of pentacles, right, is um, this person, things seem to be going quite well so far. It, it, things seem to be things seem to be all right with this person, right, at, at least at first. You've probably only known this person for a couple of, of, of days and things seem to be going well, right? Um, or not a very long period of time. This is something, this is someone that you basically just was like, hey, you know, you, you're getting to know and finding out what's going on with that situation and what's up and this, that, and third, right? Just now starting to feel each other out. Um, the Queen of Pentacles, though, and the Ten of Swords speaks to the level of betrayal that they've gone through. They may have some baggage. Um, everyone does. Everyone has baggage that they have to learn to get over. But this person has baggage in the sense that, um, you know, it's messed them up badly. You know, uh, they have some serious baggage that they have to get over. And if they're going to be in a relationship with you, Libras, they can't keep that type of baggage with you because it's going to mess up whatever kind of relationship they have with you. Um, the, the Four of Wands and the Three of Pentacles, the two of you probably have a lot in common. It's probably a very good match as far as the ability where the two of you can get along with one another, right? That peace, which is what you're supposed to establish in a relationship anyway, right? Some people out here be trying to, they be trying to make up friction. And it's like, that's stupid because Libra will show you, right? The, the zodiac sign Libra will let you know, right? Cause, cause Libra y'all represent romantic relationships and but Libras also represent peace. It's like, if you're going to be in a relationship, you must have peace. <laughs> I don't know where people sometimes think that they're going to be in romantic relationships, doing all stupid stuff and trying to aggravate the other person and doing all this other type of nonsense. And they think that that's where a relationship is like, nah, that's a dysfunctional one. So you and this person get along. It's just that some, you know, this person gets really messed up sometimes when it comes to them being, you know, challenged in certain ways or when it's time for them to actually move past certain a certain perspective. And the Queen of Pentacles represents you, you Libras being past a certain perspective, but the Ten of Swords represent how it is that they're not ready yet. And when I, when I mean when I say they're not ready, I mean they're not ready to move past certain perspectives. Right, like you're you're talk you're still feeling them out romantically, right? Pun intended. 
And, but the problem though with that is they still having problems. They still having problems that they think that you'll betray them, right? Um, all these issues that they have. And the situation for you Libras is that you understand it. That could be a real messed up situation in the future because it's all fun and games now, right? And to some people, you know, some people call it cute. I don't because I see future problems threatening the relationship. That's what I see because that's what it is. If you are in a situation like that, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. What's happening with that is it's a scenario where, you know, the person is, is showing you how broken they are in this area. And that if they don't learn to actually get that under control or managed well enough, then they're really going to end up messing up a good opportunity that they have to be with you Libras in the first place. You know, they will mess that up. Call they calling they self calling they self, you know, trying to make sure of certain situations. And this is why it is that I'm so against S testing, right? Because all it does is it creates an unnecessary problems in a relationship. It erodes at it right like when people get themselves in relationships healthy people or healthier people they don't want to fight against the person that they romantically involved with they don't want to do that people who want to do that type of stuff those are people who got mental issues look look i'm just telling you like it is those are people who got real mental problems because because that makes no sense and and this is the problem that lets you know that there's something up. The fact that it doesn't make any sense and it's consistent. The fact that it doesn't make any sense and it's consistent, right? The fact that this person thinks that it's a good idea or what, or, or what have you to be able to, to, to create unnecessary friction because why? What do they think is gonna happen? What are they into that they find that to what are they specifically into where they think that creating nonsense in a relationship is attractive that is the the, the attraction why would they want to be in a relationship with somebody that doesn't like them that doesn't want them that doesn't want to be in a relationship with them that wants to use them why would they want to be in a relationship with somebody like that and the fact that and the fact that you know, you have people who have that type of warp mentality. So the emperor right here represents, so the, the emperor, and then you have the five of wands, right? And then you even have the magician. So the emperor and the five of wands speaks to you Libras right now need to make a very strong decision on what it is that you essentially want to do. Do you Libras, because the emperor... The emperor represents your patience and the emperor represents, do you want to help? And that's what the five of wands also represents too, in a certain uh, sense, because it says that if you try to help this person, you're going to go through many a headaches because this person has some issues that they haven't resolved yet. So there's a question, are you Libras willing to put up with these people, you know? When y'all get along, y'all get along just fine. But when they start being on some nonsense, they start, cause, cause they haven't healed. What are you Libras gonna do? Are you Libras gonna put up with that? Are y'all gonna charge that to the game? That's a personal question. That's a question that all of, uh, all of you Libras are gonna have to honestly answer on your own. Then you have the magician, right? Which represents um, some of you Libras will see this and you'll be like, no. But some of you Libras need a little bit extra time to figure it out. If you're going to, if you're going to, kind of charge this up to the game, charge a certain, you know, be exhibit a certain amount of patience, 
and charge certain things that they say to the game. In, in other words, let that slide. A certain amount slide. So let's clarify the magician to, to kind of better understand. Matter of fact, let's clarify the emperor. It's my cat down there. But um, let's clarify the emperor. The empress, page of swords, and then you have the uh, five of cups. Yeah, the magician, wow. And then the strength card. So the magician and the emperor are very closely linked together in this reading. The empress, page of swords, and the five of cups. Very interesting. So, I mean, Some of you Libras may, again, some of you Libras may think that you have found the, the one for you. Emperor, clarifying for the emperor. The empress came out. You know, y'all are, are going at each other like marriage. This sounds like marriage. You know, you, you look at it like this could really be a match potentially, right? Or one of the matches that you are supposed to, or you're supposed to and could have. The Page of Swords is that you're also taking into consideration and you're not ignoring the fact that, but this person has issues though. This person has temper tantrum problems. You know, this person can can fly off the handle and they can have some pretty wild ideas. The Five of Cups, you know, what is it that you wanna do? You know, you know Five of Cups regret, you know, now you, you know, you don't wanna, get them upset. You don't want to, to get them to, you know, start being on their bad side and everything. The magician and the the magician and the uh the strength card the magician and the strength card right here represents how um and so uh because of this, once again, what are you Libras gonna do? It's up to you, right? The Empress represents Libra, so you popped up in your own reading, but it's much more about the principle than the actual person that like the two of you get along well. And like I said before, you know your matches because you have things in common, right? Things tend to go easier than, than those are your, not saying that people, not saying that people that you have to do a little bit of working for aren't, could not be your matches. But I'm talking about like the your easiest matches, right? Like I, I remember knowing someone, dating them, right? An emergency room nurse and her birthday is on the 27th too, right? On the 27th also, right? My birthday is August 27th, but her birthday was on the 27th as well, just in a different month, right? Both earth signs, I'm Virgo, she, uh, it's Capricorn. So you, you understand what I'm saying? So that let me know there's a certain, there, okay, you know what I mean? Like, okay, there's certain people that you're born that you automatically are compatible with. And and it's, it, it's easy, not saying that you can't be compatible with certain people, right? You could be compatible with anybody just as long as the two of you can get along with one another, right? It's just that some other people take a little bit more work than others. And some it's going to be easy to be compatible. So the situation with that is, is that again, this is what it is that you Libras are experiencing. You're experiencing that level of compatibility where it's easy to be compatible with them. So this is one of your matches where it's one of your easier matches, right? You don't have to do so much uh, struggling or do so much, uh, 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 strategizing for right so once again a lot of you Libras have big decisions are you know so because what it is I'm seeing here for you is is that strength card I see a lot of you Libras uh, deciding to let a certain amount of this terrible behavior that this person has slide and you want to see if this person for some of you right some of you will decide to say no and keep it pushing. But for some of you, you will 
see what type of time they on and see if they are actually going to grow from this. So that's it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. I'm trying to get the YouTube channel to 100k subs. Um, I got 15,400 and change. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, <clears throat> set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos. And if you would like a reading, right, come through and get a reading, come through and get the merch, come through and get uh, the books that I have them on Amazon. The link to that is in the comment section below in the link tree link. Um, and it helps to keep the YouTube channel up. Appreciate it.